Hi and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Tinker. Today we are going to configure AccuWeather integration. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Before we begin today's episode, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my channel. Thank you, your support means a lot. And now, let's get back to video. As a lot of users from Home Assistant are using Dark Sky, and Dark Sky is slowly going to fade out, there are a lot of alternatives for the weather information. But there is also a new integration that was brought in the version of Home Assistant 0 0.114.0. And this integration is AccuWeather. A lot of people already use it, especially Android users, because data from AccuWeather can be very accurate, forecasts are usually very good, so it's great to see this dark sky alternative brought into Home Assistant. The integration itself is pretty straightforward, there is no code needed in the configuration YAML file, but you do need a key or API key from AccuWeather. In order to do that, you have to go to webpage developer.accuweather.com. Let's open up that page. And here you can access the API needed for this integration to work. First thing that you need to do is, of course, you need to create an account if you already haven't created one before. So let's press register. And here you have to fill in all the required data. Let me quickly fill this in. Now that I've filled in the information, Next thing that we have to do is we have to read and confirm the terms of use. Let's read it quickly. Let's press accept and let's create new account. Next thing, of course, is for you to go and check your email. Let me do that quickly here. Let's set the password. Let's select time zone and let's save this. Now that we've created an account and we've set our password, we can now create application. Let's go to my apps and add a new app. We'll call this home assistant, assistant. It will be a limited trial. Where will this API be used? In a, let's call this other. We'll be using it for the internal app. I really do not know what are the right answers for this. What programming language we'll be using? We'll be using Python. Is this a business to business? We'll leave this as is. You can leave this as worldwide and let's press create. Now we have created our application and if we click on this link, we should see our API key. Here it is. Keep this API key to yourself. Don't give it to anybody else, especially since the free version doesn't allow too many requests. And if you would share this API key with someone else, you of course then would pretty quickly run out of the free requests or free API calls. Let's copy this API key. And now we can go back to the Home Assistant. In Home Assistant, integration itself is pretty straightforward. You have to go to Configuration, Integrations, click on the plus sign, select here AccuWeather, and type here your API key or copy it. Please note, as it says here, the weather forecast itself is not enabled by default. You can enable it later on in the integration options, and we will do it just as soon as we finish this first step. Let's press submit. You can select area, usually for such, let's call it information devices, where that are not specific to any area. I leave this field empty, and let's press finish. Now we have new AccuWeather integration and we have now here a couple of entities already ranging from the UV index up to the full weather information. 
let's go to overview let's go to weather page we have dark sky here but we want to add a new one plus let's go to weather and we have here already pre-filled the sensor information this is weather.buildit.sio for me let's press save as you can see this is the information we currently have but that's not all as we said we can also receive the forecast information and in order for you to do that let's go to configuration page integrations let's click here on options and let's tick the box next to the weather forecast as you can see there is a warning due to limitation of the free version of api key data will now be updated every 64 minutes instead of every 32 minutes when the weather forecast is ticked off let's press submit now we have 98 entities let's see what we have here now and as you can see we now have a bunch of additional informations there is a forecast for the current plus four days meaning total of five days also the same is the maximum temperature information real field temperature thunderstorm probability and uv index let's go back to overview let's go to weather and at this point you see that we have now additional information for our accuweather sensor if you do not like the name of your home assistant instance here you can of course use the platform name here and this is done two ways one way is to go to configuration integrations and use here rename to rename the platform to accuweather or best option or preferred option i think is when you are creating sensor itself to type in the name of a platform so accuweather instead of the name that is proposed to you during the integration of the platform and at this point this is it you of course have additional information that is hidden under each of the sensors you can use this sensor now as your primary sensor for weather information and based on the data from the sensor you can get notifications automations and things like that but this is it for this brief home assistant how-to video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up it means a lot to me if you still haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates and i'll be seeing you soon until then bye bye and have fun